So we have used this time that we are sitting at home waiting for our next trip to kind of get some of the small projects that we wanted to accomplish done here in the Airstream. And number one on the list is going to be to install some shelves in this closet area. Uh, so my wife saw a wonderful picture online. I'll see if I can post that for you guys. And it really just kind of took half of this closet. Uh, we're gonna take this side over here, gonna section it off to where we're still gonna have hanging uh, capabilities on this side, but over here we're gonna add a series of shelves. Um, so I like to think I'm fairly handy. I've done one or two projects in my day. Uh, big shout out to my friends in California who absolutely helped me on many of those occasions. But this is a new one for me. I've never made shelving and shelving unit and something that needs to be in a trailer uh, and that's going to be able to handle the bumps on the road and everything else so we're going to see what we can do. So the first step is going to be to take off these doors. Uh, as you can see I've already got one off. They have these little clips right here that make it super easy to pop on and off. Um, so like I said I've got one off. We're going to get the second one off. Do some quick measurements, kind of get everything laid out before we start, you know, screwing everything in and making this a little more permanent. So let's get started. All right, so I'm not sure if you guys can see this, but there's actually a lip that's in the back here. It's a little over 10 inches. So my thought process and idea for doing this is going to be create a center brace on the bottom using this top here and having the first shelf to sit flat on there. Uh, I really don't want to screw in to the existing panels uh, just because if we do decide to sell or we decide to rip this thing out, I don't want to cause any undue stress and more work than I need to. So I'm going to build a bottom shelf first, set that in, put the second wall here, and then uh, I think maybe I'll do like some adjusting shelves over here, maybe about two of them, uh, depending on what size the wife approves. So uh, let's get started. Okay, so I got a nice rough dry fit in here right now. Uh, as you can see, I've got a bottom shelf sitting in there. I've got two supports. I've got one that goes right along the center column here. Uh, again, this is all dry fitted. I'm going to uh, get all the pocket holes in and uh, make sure that this bottom shelf is nice and secure before I add this one here. So uh, a couple things you can see. I did add a little melamine strip here. I originally bought a what a four by eight sheet of particle board with this white melamine on it. Uh, and then I ordered from Amazon just this melamine strip just to kind of give it a little more finished look on the edge. Uh, and there we go, we have it. Step, well, one through four really. Uh, but let's go ahead and see what we can do. Let's get these all secured in place before we start building out our shelves. On 
a side note here, I do want to mention to you guys that obviously this job would be a lot easier if I had the right tools to do it. Um, I've definitely downsized in the amount of tools that I have. So my whole goal for this project was to only use what I had. So luckily, a lot of the main, I guess, parts uh, were already here at the house but I don't have a table saw, unfortunately, so all these cuts are with the skill saw, so please be gentle with your comments if you see a crooked line here or there. All right. done finally uh, i can't say finally it really only took probably about three hours which is perfect because it dropped the kids off over at the grandmother's house and it's well almost time for me to go get them so take a look about a three hour job but now the wife has shelves you can see we still maintained the hanging portion of the closet but now she has shelves, she has access. You know, maybe in the future we'll add a little bit more lighting, that way you can kind of see a little more in here. But I mean, look at all this extra storage, guys. I mean, this really is a lot of untapped space. Thank you guys for checking out our impromptu shelving project for our Airstream. Uh, you know, three hours, it wasn't too bad. You know, I was able to get the job done, gonna go get the kids. Uh, I think it came out pretty well. With the time frame, you know, it definitely had to sacrifice style over function. So I think it's sturdy enough. Keep my fingers crossed. But I believe we're gonna get some good use out of that neglected space uh, there in the closet. So uh, everyone, smash that like button, hit that subscribe button, and stay tuned. It's a new year, 2021. Let's get things going. We're off on a good start. I'm ready to get on the road, guys. See you next time.